Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing a day in the life. As you can see, I am asleep right now. It is actually 4 a.m. in the morning and it is the Easter holidays. Uh, the reason it's so early and you can see I'm trying to get up right now, it's because it's Ramadan, so I'm fasting. And so I have to get up early to eat food um, for Suhoor. And um, yeah, I clearly am very tired and I don't want to get up, but you know, it is what it is. I also have a smoothie because, you know, um, I wanted to fill myself up completely and a smoothie was the best way to do that and, you know, smoothie in the morning, very tasty, well, um, I was half asleep, you can clearly see I look like a zombie but it's fine, I also like put a checklist for myself so I know exactly what I'm going to do after I wake up again because I'm going to go back to sleep of course, I'm not going to stay up and yeah, I don't write too many things but there are quite a few things I want to get done today. After a few hours or so, so like 8, 9 o'clock I think it was, I wake up and I just sit in my bed for a bit because I'm lazy and I just watch some YouTube on my phone because, you know, um, nobody wants to work in the morning. I get my work done in the morning uh, rather than in the evening. And I force myself up and I actually start cleaning my workspace because it's a complete mess from last night and I really recommend to clean your desk or whatever you're working on before you start working because it really makes you much more motivated and just really helps with um, actually getting the work done so I do memorize after that and that was nice I guess um, it's always quite easy and quick to do I've just made it a daily habit so you see me doing memorizing every single one of my study with me or day in their lives because it's just something I do every day so that's already one thing off my to-do list which is easy and quick uh, then I move on to a bit of five a day so I do the further maths one because I do further maths and I might as well do the further maths one because that also has a bit of GCSE maths in it as well just a bit more advanced stuff You know what they say, a five a day keeps the nine at bay. Um, I just made that up right now. <laughs> That's horrible. I find maths quite relaxing to do. I wouldn't say relaxing, but I find it much easier to do than other subjects. Um, so I always start off with maths or French or something like that because then it motivates me to do more work. And I find it much easier to start with maths than to start with something like DT or physics because I find them really frustrating and I'd rather not do them. Obviously, you have to then mark your work. And I didn't do too bad, I guess. I got three out of four. Um, the question I got wrong at the start, I have no clue why I got it wrong, and I just don't care. I should go over it, but you know, I'm lazy, so. I just spent like half an hour doing this, and um, that means we can get another task off our to do list. So, it would be this. Um, I'm probably going to just do some flashcards now. After all that maths, I do my Remnote flashcards. If you don't know what Remnote is, you know the drill. It's in the corner. Check it out. Um, and yeah, so I'm doing my DT flashcards and I hate DT. You can clearly see how much stress I'm going through with these questions and these flashcards. They're actually so stupid and annoying, but I have to do them because there's no other way I can learn all this information. And, you know, sometimes DT just makes me want to... No, but actually, I just hate DT. It's so boring. Okay, so I have done like half of all my tasks so far and I decide, you know what, I'm going to take a break because, you know, um, and yeah, so I actually go to the park with my friend and we cycle there and it was actually really fun. Um, you might remember this guy from my other study with me. I gave this man 10 minutes extra and he's still cheating. What a cheat. Wait, no, this no, is how no. Matt's, by the way. Yeah. Um... No, look, the mark scheme says that. You need to give me the marks. Uh, but no, you've only no, mentioned no, no. three points. No, yes, no, you've I mentioned. Think... So, the infamous study YouTuber, Newman Sammy, is about to climb a tree. As you can see, he's really experienced at this. He's looking for the perfect place okay, to hold on um, to. I'm really stuck. 
what just keep going it's not that hard there's a there's a thing there you can just grab onto that don't you think yeah he's struggling isn't he after all these are the holidays so you should be going outside and actually having a bit of fun as well because the holidays you should actually not just stick and do revision for the entire time actually have a bit of fun it's really important to actually relax a bit as well in these holidays they're actually so nice you don't yeah. understand And yeah, so after that I come home and you can kind of see here I've got these new LED lights which are really cool and I then do a bit of Broda which is our sponsor for today's video. Build a quite a lot for my GCSE maths because when I come across a topic that I just don't understand I like to go over the course and build it so for example I the other day was doing a brick on quadratic inequalities and the way builder works is it goes over the content in a lot of detail at first so you can actually understand how to do it and then after that you get to do practice questions so it's very hands-on because you can just go straight into putting those skills into practice and then you can review the question that you did and see what you got wrong and what you got right and actually improve on what you got wrong on so then you can properly consolidate that information and then it sticks in your head really well. I highly recommend you check it out, it's in the description, it's free so just try it out, see if you like it. If you don't then that's fine but I really recommend you try it, it's really good and yeah let's just get straight on with the video. I actually finally get to eat and then after that I come back and do my poetry essay and I really could not care less about this but I managed to force myself to actually do it and the way I did it is through a spin the wheel for the poems that I haven't yet actually started writing an essay about so I've done a few of them but I haven't done it for these poems here and I spin the wheel and let's see what we get oh okay kamikaze great great I hate this poem I don't even remember what happens in it but you know I'm just gonna wing it I'm just gonna try I get really bored halfway through and I just decide, you know what, I'm going to pose for a thumbnail really quickly and yeah, um, it looks kind of silly so I decided to include it in the video. So you might have realised that on my to-do list one of the options was a bonus for a case studies booklet for geography. That was only for if I had lots of time I still didn't know what to do but it's like 9pm right now and I just want to go to sleep soon so I decided to just ignore that and I just went straight to French speaking practice and I do that, it's fine I guess but I don't really do it to the best of my ability, I spend it more just eating and um, staring at the questions and trying to see if I can answer them. Um, I'm probably gonna work on my French speaking a bit more next week but yeah so it was nice and relaxing I guess and then you know I go to sleep after that and yeah today's been a productive day I guess. I mean I could have done more but this is as realistic as it can get in terms of how much revision I would normally do in one of these days. Probably a bit more than I normally would do. So yeah um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you again next time and yeah Try this exam question as always if you can do it. The answer is going to be in the pinned comment, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, I'll see you again next week. Have a great day. Bye.